G'day guys, it's here, the Microsoft Edge browser on Ubuntu Linux. So grab your stein of coffee and let's get started. Okay, so having a look at this, we have the Microsoft Edge browser on Linux. I've got to laugh a little bit. It is kind of funny. Uh, it was a pretty simple installation. I might show you that in another video. But uh, basically, if we jump into maybe some of the settings here. Now, I haven't actually looked at this uh, but uh, until I'm showing you guys now. But, oh, I, I, just, I just can't seem to find it. That's a shame. Let's see if we can go to the, the terminal and have a look at the, the version in, that sort of thing. But uh, what I've done is I've gone ahead, I've installed it. It comes up in my uh, menu here. Ooh, what are we doing? It's called Microsoft Edge. Now it is the beta version, so it's not really officially released. I wouldn't use it as a daily driver of a web browser. I probably wouldn't use it as a as a web browser at all on Linux. It kind of goes against the uh, the, the ethos of the, the Linux operating system environment where uh, we, we like to have open source software. Now, technically, the Edge Microsoft uh, browser did switch from some proprietary uh, backend uh, browser engine to the, the Chromium uh, browser engine there, so in uh, which is open source for the most part. So it did go uh, open source in a way, but there are also some customizations and some options and some login features, which means a lot of your data still probably is going to go to the, the Microsoft servers. So no, no, nobody in the Linux community, and I mean, I can't speak for all people in the Linux community there, but most of them aren't going to be interested in having their Linux box connect to a, uh, a, a Microsoft server somewhere in California, right? In Silicon Valley. It's just not something that most people are interested in. But um, yeah, it's just a bit of a funny one. So in fact, if we do a couple of things here, let's just go to Google, because let's just see that it really is using that Chromium browser, we can type in this little uh, thing here, do a barrel roll, not the song that's coming up, but the, oh, come on, it's not even doing it. Maybe I spelt it wrong. Do a barrel roll twice. Oh, it's just, oh, there we go, great. I must have spelt it wrong. So we're doing some Chromium or Chrome-like things. Let's just pop open the Chrome web browser, just for comparison. Perhaps I could do a speed test on these puppies, but I just won't today. And let's type in do a barrel roll. Now the reason why I'm actually doing this on um, both of these machines is because barrel rolls are done differently depending on the uh, the actual browser there. And they seem to do it the same way, the same, the same way that it spins. So yeah, there you go, that's it. One was one before the other. But um, I'm really got to digress from that. It, it all comes back down to the, uh, the, the Edge browser. Now you will see uh, it's very Windows-esque, the way that it looks. If you've got a Windows laptop or machine in your work environment, just pulls up this really ugly and really resource heavy page with all these news articles. I haven't customized this at all. It, it's, it's just, uh, I guess, specifically checking out my local Australian IP address and mostly giving a lot of ads and weather based on that. Uh, I'm not exactly in Manning, but that will do for now. But that's pretty much it, guys. Just a super funny, simple video to show you guys that we now have the Microsoft Edge browser on Linux. Uh, please let me know your, 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 your comments, your thoughts, all sorts of things, if you would actually use it, the reason why you would use it. Maybe there's a few web developers out there that want to see things run on the Edge browser, but hey, you know, we've got Chrome for that and, and Chromium for that matter as well. That's a whole different topic for discussion though. So thanks again, guys. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.